Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a warm welcome to you. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the hot stopper leaves. I am a big fan of the, um, the series Hot Stopper, so I decided to make um, some items made with the leaves. So I'll be showing you how to create these leaves. Okay, I'll just show you how to make one. Um, so here we have the four leaf, you know, the four peak one and three peak. But the thing is, um, it's basically the same pattern. You just skip the one leaf. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to make these. And also the text bubble. To make these, you're going to need basically various types of wool. You can make as many colors of the leaves you, as you want, but I'll be using three main colors today. Well, I used three main colors, as you could see from what I showed. Um, I will be using this green. It's called Soft Lime by Charity. This is um, Pale Rose, also by Charity, and this is also by Charity. Yes, and this is Banana. Um, these are the wools, like one of two of the wools, one of the two wools that I got from my recent yarn haul. Um, and you would also need crochet thread or embroidery thread. Basically, it's it's a very thin um, type of wool that you would use for the trim. As you can see, there's a black trim around. Okay, so these are the wools you'll need. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook. Okay, let's just try to get that focused. There we go. <laughs> it's a 3.5 millimeter hook. You're going to need scissors to cut off your ends and tapestry needle to weave in your ends. Okay, with the materials done, let's get started. Okay, so to start, you're going to need to do a slip knot. This is how I do my slip knot. Then you're going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Then into the second chain. So one at with the hook is one. And then that's two. Into the second one, you're going to do a single crochet. Okay. Then into the next one, one half double crochet. Into the next one, a half double crochet. Into the next one, a double crochet. Into the next one, another double crochet. Into the next one, another double crochet. Okay, making it three double crochets and then into the next space which is second to the last one a half double crochet and into the last one 
three single crochets. So that's one, two, three. Okay, it creates this curve. Okay, now we're going to go down this line. We're going to go into the next stitch, so not the same one you just came from. The next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet. Into the next one, a double crochet. Into the next one, a double crochet. And into the next one, a double crochet as well. Okay, into the next two half double crochets, so one half double crochet. Into the next one, a half double crochet. Okay, and into this very last one here, a single crochet. So you can see we now have a leaf, somewhat of a leaf. <laughs> okay, now we're going to chain one, turn our work to the side, and we're going to do four single crochets going up. So into the, this one, into the very one underneath the chain you just did, a single crochet, into the next stitch, single crochet, into the next stitch, single crochet, this is the third one, and into the next stitch, a single crochet, fourth one. Okay, then we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, Five. Going to somewhat turn our work again. And into the third chain from the hook, we're going to do a single crochet. So once again, one, two, three. Into that third one, we're going to do a single. It gets pretty tight with this <laughs> crochet. Okay. Then we're going to do a half double into the next one. So one half double into the next stitch, into the next chain, one half double. Okay. And into the next stitch, because now we're going into the stitches, a double crochet into the next stitch, a double crochet and then into the second to the last stitch a half double crochet and into the last stitch a single crochet next you want to chain one turn your work and do two single crochets same thing same underneath the chain you just did one and into the next one two okay then we're going to chain four one two three four Turn your work a little bit so we can go back down now and then we're going to single crochet from the third chain from the hook so one two three we're going to single crochet into that okay then we're going to half double crochet into the next chain half double crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the last stitch
Okay. As you can see, now we have three leaves. Now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet into the bottom three holes here. Okay, so you see there's one hole here, one hole here, and a hole here as well. So we're going to single crochet join this. So we're going to single crochet, well, together, all of them. So to do that, you're going to go into the hole. Don't yarn over. You're going to just go into the hole. Then yarn over. Okay, pull through. Into the next hole, yarn over, pull through. Three loops on the hook. And same thing, into the same hole. The next hole, sorry. Yarn over, pull through. Four loops on the hook. Okay, now you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops and that closes it up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically finish off this third, um, this three leaf. Okay. Uh, if you, I'm not going to add my fourth leaf, um, but if you just want to do the three leaf only like this one, okay if you're doing currently the three leaf alone then this is where you would stop okay so what you'll do is you're going to go in single crochet into this one okay you're going to single crochet in there and you're going to insert your hook and then join the black to here okay so this is where we're going to join the black but um, I'm going to be finishing this, so I'm going to continue. If the, you're doing only three leaves, please add your black now. Okay. To go into the fourth leaf, I have currently done a single crochet. I need to do three more. Okay, so once you're done with that join, you're going to do four single crochets going upwards this way. So that's one. three and my last one four okay now we're going to chain five one two three four five okay Now, we're going the, this way. Okay. So, we're going to single crochet from the third loop on our hook. One, two, three. That's the third one. We're going to single crochet into that. Then, we're going to do a half double crochet into the next chain. A half double crochet into the next chain. A double crochet into the next stitch another double crochet into the next stitch okay then we're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch then we are going to single crochet into the next stitch okay that's now the fourth leaf complete and now we're going to do the join so this is how a join would work okay so to do the join I'm now going to go into the next stitch and I'm going to start what somewhat of a slip stitch but now i'm going to cut off a nice long tail so i can weave in later and bring in my thinner thread black wool thing okay you want quite a long tail as well just 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 to make sure that you can weave in at the end 
Okay, all I'm doing here is just holding my black wool to the back of my work. And I'm just going to yarn over and pull through, finishing off the slip stitch I was previously going to do. Now to tie this off, I'm just yarning over, making a knot. I, that's how I do my knot. Okay, I just like to do that because it makes it more stable, I guess. So now you're going to yarn over and you're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so with the crochet thread, please don't go too tight. My honey daughter can get this tight anyway. Um, yeah, just don't go too tight with it. And I'm going to start from the second where my fingers, my left finger uh, thumb is pointing at. I'm going to start there. So I'm going to do a single crochet all the way down. So it should be a total of five single crochets. So one, two, it's really thin, three, four and last one five okay now what we're going to do is just single crochet all the way around so what i just did was in the exact same place i did my little knot i went back in there and did a single crochet into the next stitch you're just going to single crochet so you're just going to single crochet all the way around but there is, you need to do something when you get to corners and dips. Okay, what I mean by corner is this. Okay, so each peak of the leaf is a corner. And I'll explain what I mean by now in a dip. So for a corner, you're going to add two single crochets in that corner. Okay, into the peaks. Let's just call it a peak instead. Okay, so in the same spot, you're going to single crochet again so two single crochets and you're just going to continue all the way down with your normal single crochets into every stitch e. okay so we're heading towards a dip now okay so a dip is is that very last end it's kind of I can't really describe it because it's, sometimes it's hard to see but as you can see as you go down here there's a little um, dip here so in those dips you're going to do the same thing you did in a peak two single crochets okay then you're just gonna go all the way up again single crochet into every other next stitch Okay, again, we are at a peak, uh, peak. this is the peak, peak here, I'm going to go into it twice with single crochets, two single crochets into the same spot. And going back down again, just single crochet. I'll do one more dip with you and I'll meet you at the end. So don't forget, in every single dip and peak, you need to do a single, two single crochets into those spots. Okay, so once again, here's a dip. I'm going to go in there and do two, <laughs> two single crochets in the same hole. The thing with crochet thread it's it's not all reliable honestly but anyway we move on we move on okay so two in there and go keep going up okay i will meet you once i get 
to the end here. Okay, so now I am now on the last one. I'm just going to go into that very last stitch there and do a single crochet. Now I'm you see there's a gap in between here. Oh, come on. Okay, there is this gap in between there. I'm just going to take into both of them. And I'm going to pull through doing a slip stitch. going to do a chain one so I can easily cut off my end and it ties off nicely. I'm just going to pull on that that I made. Okay. If you want a longer stem, obviously you know what to do. Add more chains. And yeah, that's how to make a hot stopper leaf. Okay, so for the text bubble, you are going to need white wool and the same uh, black uh, crochet thread or embroidery thread. To start off, you're going to start with a magic ring. Okay. Then you're going to chain two and do 10 double crochets into the space, into the ring. So that's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. The chain two that you did does not count as a stitch. So we're going to go into the top of the chain two that we did. We're going to slip stitch to close off the ring. Then we're going to chain two again and into the space next to the chain. We're going to do half double crochets all around. So we're going to do two half double crochets. All the way around. So that's what you're just going to do. You're going to do two half double crochets all the way around. And I'll meet you once I get to the end. Okay. I'm at the end here. I'm going to go right into that very last one and do one single crochet. Uh, one, <laughs> one half double. Sorry, it's half doubles all around. Okay, so this now counts as our two half double crochets. And we're going to go into the top of the chain once again. And we're going to slip stitch. Okay, so we start with 10, we should have a total of 20 stitches around if you want to count. Be my guest. Okay, so that's the circle part. Now we're going to do the little text part. And for that, I've currently done two chains. We're going to need to do a total of six chains. Three, four, five, six. Okay, and then into the third chain from the hook we're going to do a single crochet 
into the next chain or half double crochet to the next chain a double crochet and into the last chain we're going to do a double crochet as well okay so now we're going to attach this to the rest of the work so we're going to skip one two three and into the fourth one we're going to slip stitch and that's how the text bubble is done now we're going to start off same way we would normally start off a change for the black rim Okay, long tails, long tails just helps. Okay, same way. Tie a knot. Come on. Okay, however, for this, we're going to do two single crochets into every stitch so i'm just going to chain two here to, to start my oops sorry that's a half double and into the same stitch a single crochet so it's chain two and into the same stitch a single crochet and into every other stitch we're going to add two single crochets into them so that's two single crochets into the next stitch into this next one one two into the next one one yeah. but hey you get the logic okay two single crochets into every stitch Okay, I'm going to go all the way around and I'll meet you when I get to this end here. I'm back. And I have gotten to the end here. Once again, like in the previous row. Actually, it's a, just a double. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. I just wanted to do this peak with you. Okay, so it's the exact same thing. into every stitch you're going to do two single crochets and also at the peak two single crochets okay we're at the peak just gonna try find my way in there let go And continue down. Oops. Same thing all around. Two single crochets. Okay, I am now at the end here and I'm just going to slip stitch into the very top of the previous chain that we did and off a nice long tail and now you just want to weave in 
you just want to weave in your ends as you can see you're gonna have at least four ends so you're gonna weave in your ends and when you weave in this end specifically you know this one this particular white end here you might want to also join this space together so it joins in and because this is quite a big hole so you just want to go in and out of that space while you're joining uh, weaving in this end weaving in this end you just go around you know do any kind of weaving ends you you would you like or whichever way you weave in your ends okay and yeah that's the speech bubble I won't be doing the embroidery in the middle like as shown here oops because um, that's it's a lot of work <laughs> so yeah so you will just want to use the same thread I use the same thread for the embroidery and a nice um, normal um, sewing needle uh, but I chose a sewing needle with a larger head um, so this wool can actually pass through it okay so it's just to draw the high on the side be quite strategic with it that was a lot of maths and yeah that is the tutorial for today this is the ones that I recently did <laughs> so yeah it's a lot of ends it's, it's a lot of ends I advise if you work you cut off your ends you know what just let's view all the ones I do have currently yeah that's how you would do your three leaf four leaf and bubbles thank you for watching stay safe stay well <laughs>